This episode is brought to you by GoDaddy.com. Hey, we need some competition. Go out and create your own video show, spirit review blog. Just get your domain at GoDaddy.com. Use code EDDR3 and your .com domains will be $7.49. Welcome to Common Man Cocktails. I'm your host, Derek Schomer. Today, we're going to create the unimaginable indulgence. I did it. So I guess you can only drink this cocktail if you still can pronounce those words correctly. Um, it's kind of long. You can't drink it at all if you can't. Yeah. Otherwise, I guess if you if you don't speak a lot of English, you get a pass. This recipe was <clears throat> actually submitted by Zante Pere Liqueur. They I guess they submitted it. They sent it out to probably all the bloggers and stuff. Uh, as in most bloggers, they just post the recipe. We do it. So this is the we've used this before. This is the Zante uh, pear liqueur. I guess it's yeah, it's a pear liqueur. Um, I I reviewed it with a little flip cam video. It's tasty. So we're gonna use that. We're gonna do two ounces of the pear spirit. We're going to do one scoop of vanilla ice cream. So I got that right here hiding in my Tupperware or Ziploc, as it were. Um, one ounce of chocolate syrup, which probably isn't, we're not going to measure We're going to decorate the glass with it. And one ounce of milk. That's it. We're going to shake it. This time I'm going to shake it for 20 seconds because it's got ice cream. We want to break it down a little bit. Get it, get the creaminess out. Extract the creaminess from the ice cream. We're also going to add probably a little ice to keep it cold. So... One scoop of ice cream. That can be a scoop if you eat it. Okay. There you go. And the reason I'm going to add ice, and I don't really know if you have to, you get this, is uh, <clears throat> I found that it's not really as, ice cream is not as cold as you think it is when you put it into a cocktail, especially when you take some of these other liquids that are at room temperature and try and bring it to the right temperature it tends to warm it so i'm going to throw a couple cubes of ice just for fun you have a weird definition of fun i do i'm a funny guy do three we'll strain it anyway so they're not going to come out let's shake that for (coughs) 20 seconds just want to make sure I don't hurt myself. That was 10 seconds. I would normally be done. Thanks for the interlude. <laughs> that is really, really cold. That's awesome. All right, chill down. glass. I found my awesome drinks, martini glasses, cocktail glasses. They were in the freezer in the basement, frozen to the bottom. So I had to work on that, chipping it out. <clears throat> uh, let's see, let's go with our... Now we've done the decorative thing where I just pour it right down the center. I think I'm gonna try and roll it. I've also rolled it on a chilled glass. This was once chilled. But, alas, the lights, the camera, the action. Yeah, the drink gets all sweaty. Yeah. <laughs> so, not too bad, right? It's kind of got a swirl pattern to it, and I put a little at the bottom. So that's your garnish. And it's sitting pretty good, because it still is pretty frozen. I'm unimaginabling this. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah. This is unimaginably awesome. So, presentation-wise, it's got your chocolate on the bottom, so it looks cool. It looks like it's part of the glass. Whoa! Too much caffeine. All right. Smells like pears. It's going to taste like a chocolate pear. Yeah, it does. Vanilla is not, this is a vanilla bean ice cream. 
I don't know if that really makes a difference. There's all different types of vanilla, I guess. It's white. <clears throat> there is a lot of, the Zante's right up there. It's almost got, I think this has like a brandy in it, right? I think it's a brandy with, because you're getting some of that brandiness from it. This would be good after you've already consumed tons of calories for Thanksgiving. Turkey. Yeah, turkey, stuffing, stuffing cranberries, uh, all the stuff that typically goes with it. When you finally settled and you're sitting on the couch watching the Patriots beat the Lions. Is. And you're like tired. That's when you pour this drink. Yeah, because that's going to make you even more tired. And then you'll miss the game. Hmm. Very striking amount of brandies and pears, subtle vanilla, chocolate, just because it's kind of intermingling. The vanilla is much more subtle than I thought it was going to be. I pictured this as more of a super sweet, uh, I don't know. When I hear unimaginable indulgence, I think sweet, like fudge. But this is more cocktail-y, if that's a word. Potent it, in, in a way, like it's, it's as potent as brandy and eggnog would be. You know, if you put a little too much brandy, it's got that heat to it. So it's warm, pear, subtle vanilla. That's what you're getting. And some chocolate. So there you go. That's the unimaginable indulgence uh, for the week of Thanksgiving or really any any holiday coming around this time. Probably be pretty good. Or any time you really want. Really? You don't have to have a holiday. No. It's you can I, drink any time. And it's got ice cream, so it's good for warm weather. Unless Australia. it's 10 in the morning. Then it's kind of sketchy. Yeah, 10 in the morning is a little iffy when you're thinking about cocktails. But cocktails bring it up a level. It depends it's not like, where you are. It's not if like, you're in New Orleans, they're drinking at 10 in the morning. Well, you're not having like one of those crazy loco drinks, right? Those caffeine and alcohol. You're, you're having something upper class, so 10 o'clock might not be too bad. Okay. Anyway, everydaydrinkers.tv, we're teaching you how to drink.